What's up, YouTubers? Welcome to my channel, Aquatic Utopia. Uh, I'm starting this channel for freshwater and saltwater tanks. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have an empty tank right now, and the plan there is to build a uh, freshwater koi setup, koi and ornamental goldfish that I'm kind of excited about. Uh, I'll also here in the coming weeks and months uh, beginning into reef uh, and address uh, issues like water quality, sump setup, uh, lighting, all kinds of, you know, there's a myriad of issues to go through with uh, reef tanks that I'd like to help you uh, through with those as well. So this channel is intended to be for experts and newcomers. Um, you know, leave your comments in the uh, in the comments section and let me know what you think. Uh, it's uh, intended for people to get information, share ideas, uh, and products to help uh, further the um, the hobby. So I hope you like it. I uh, hope it gets a little more sophisticated and better over time. Uh, first topic here today is aquarium placement. Um, I'll show you the room that this is going into. This is going to be, again, a freshwater tank. And what we have here is a very large window. So normally that would not be a good idea at all because uh, sunlight can lead to high algae growth. I'm not terribly concerned about this in this instance because that is uh, facing east, so it gets maybe an hour, uh, two hours at max of direct sunlight in the morning. And with the, uh, the plecos and things that you can put in there, algae shouldn't be too terribly much of an issue. It's also in our dining room uh, where we sit and eat. And it'll be seen from our kitchen as you look out into that space. Um, so it's a very high traffic area. It'll get a, a lot of uh, viewing, which is good. Uh, you don't really want to hide tanks. Obviously the expense that you're putting into it, you want to show it off and you want it to be in a, in a great area. So that's where I'm thinking about putting that. You can see the size of the wall. Originally I was planning on doing a 125 gallon tank. That would be another two feet longer than this 55. But we've had some discussion and we think that that might kind of overpower the space and be too large. Um, you know, I never thought I'd say that you could go too large for an aquarium, but maybe you could. And on top of me having this in storage for many years and needing to use it, that's the decision I'm making there. So choice is up to you as far as how big you want to go. The other location for the other tank, the reef tank, that I'll show you is going to be here in the living room. Don't watch these uh, YouTubers consuming all of their YouTube channels. But this space here is we're planning uh, to put the set probably a 75 gallon reef tank. Uh, that'll be in the very corner. It'll be the focal point of this room. So as you're sitting on the couches you'll be able to observe it there it, it'll be very far from the windows so sunlight won't be an issue for the reef and uh, normally you want to keep it away from drafts or heat unfortunately i have a vent right there um, so to deal with that that vent uh, normally is closed all the time anyway because this room um, doesn't need the three vents that it has and um, we'll leave that closed so that won't draft or heat uh, the aquarium abnormally. So that is the other location that I'm thinking is going to be ideal for that tank. If you, uh, if you are putting a large tank on your, your floor, consider the weight and what it is that you're going to be putting uh, on your floor. This is... Uh, a raised floor over a crawl space so weight considerations would be uh, something that I would need to think about. This happens to be a 55 gallon tank. Uh, a water being 8.34 pounds per gallon it can add up quick. So if you break that down 55 gallons at eight, you know almost eight and a half pounds 
uh, per gallon, you're at 458 pounds just in the water. The tank's another 78 pounds. And add about 1.5 pounds of gravel per gallon. I'm up to another 80 pounds there. So before I know it, without any other direction, uh, directions, <laughs> decorations, uh, I'm over 600 pounds in the, in the aquarium. You know, this floor will be able to support that, but if I did the 125-gallon uh, tank, I'd be over 1,200 pounds, probably close, closer to 1,500 pounds because of the gravel in there. And then at that point, I'd have a springy floor and would uh, probably need to do some uh, fortification and uh, embracing down in the crawl space. So that's another advantage to leading towards the decision to just go with the 55. Um, another thing here is, you know, keep your eyes peeled if you're getting new into the hobby. The equipment can be very expensive brand new, um, but repurposing it uh, can save you a lot of money, money. So check out Craigslist, check out Facebook Marketplace, join Facebook groups for freshwater and saltwater uh, forums that, that you like. Uh, you'll find a lot of equipment being sold there that can save you quite a bit of money. And uh, this one was gifted to me from my father-in-law probably over 15 years ago at this point. Uh, and I just uh, touched up the stand and uh, painted it, sanded it, got it looking in, in pretty good shape. A little bit more uh, modern looking than the stained plywood. And uh, you can see the, the pictures here that I will show you next, the pictures in that process. Not too bad. It goes quick. You know, maybe half hour, 45 minutes, I'll be done with the whole thing. All right, air compressor, little air gun. Blow it off. So I'm gonna increase the pressure. It'll blow all that dust off clean so it sticks well. 